guys. This is a Subaru Crosscheck that we have in the shop. Um, as you may know, we're a Toyota shop, but we have done a bunch of Subaru builds over the years. So this particular one is no different. Um, it's here for a front bumper. So we start off by removing the lower section of the bumper and we're gonna build out just a nice clean tube style front end. Um, we're gonna have recovery points, we're gonna have a winch, and we're gonna have a place for lights. So. What are we up to? Building a little tube bumper for that there Subaru. Oh snap, it's coming along pretty good, huh? Got some tubes up there. Which model? Oh yeah, that's the uh, movement. Uh, Usually happens a lot quicker than that. Does it? Probably just nervous right now. Something like that. All right, guys. So we're at a point where the bumper is off the car. Uh, it's all tacked up. We have a brace in the back uh, holding everything together. So when we do the final weld through, the bumper is not going to go fatigued and get out of shape. As you can see, some of the parts that we're using on this thing is a worn Axum uh, 4,500 pound winch. We like this winch because it's light and it's strong, uh, particularly for Subaru. Subarus that usually don't do, are not doing any rock crawling or anything like that. So this is plenty to get it out of trouble. So on the light, we're using a Extreme LED 20 inch bar. Um, nice bar, pretty bright, fairly inexpensive, um, easy to replace if it gets damaged. So um, this is just an easy solution for more light. So onto the front, we're gonna be adding a, a skid. Skid play, this is what's going to protect the winch as well as provide some airflow to the front. Um, and we'll finish off with doing some uh, recovery reinforcements, veering mounts up in the front. So they'll be tied in to the back of the frame plate, run through this, through this section here and come out to the front. <laughs> there we are. Back at it again, Monday morning. Yeah, no. What are we doing? Finishing up the Subaru bumper, putting some tube caps here. That way we can put a little recovery point tie-in. We'll go all the way down here to the frame plate. Looking nice. Yeah. Not half bad. Not half bad at all. Okay, so what's the next step? I see we got so, the bumper back. Yeah, we got the bumper back. From powder coat? It's powder coated now. It looks really nice too. Yeah, pretty cool. And that turned out pretty sweet. I mean, this is nothing new for you. You've done, nah, you've probably done what? Like over a dozen of these for sure. I lost count a long time. Really? Yeah. There's a time period the where they got really popular and like everyone was doing them. Yeah, now that it's getting popular again, it seems like. Funny, funny. Okay, let's uh, throw it on and then. Yeah, we gotta make sure it still fits has a nice gap across the skin, and then I'll trim lock it. Nice. And zip around out of here. Let's go. Nice.
Now that the bumper's trimmed up. Applying trim lock. Nice, that looks really good. Little detail that makes, makes all it the difference. really pop. Yeah. yeah, it makes all the difference, look at that. You know, it reminds me of like the uh, the braided wire loom. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It has that, that shiny texture to it. It makes it look factory almost, like it's supposed to be that way instead of just chopping it, you know? Yeah, that's really cool. Very nice. And then after this, pretty much final install. Yep. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna paint, you're gonna touch it up down here, right? Yeah. That way it blends in behind the bumper, all black. So get some uh, black paint to darken background yes sir and then final install and then accessories winch lights looks really good man thanks man i tried my best That's i did all that matters. i did my best mama would be proud mama is proud oh yeah she is she always tells me how handsome i am oh does she yeah <laughs> with your cowboy boots Pants tucked into the yes, That's real proper right yeah. there. Right at the doctor's office, baby. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Shove it up in there. Yep. Ooh. Clean. Hey. Oh, 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 thank you, man. You're gonna be seeing your butt the whole time. That big dupa. All right, let's do this. Very nice. Good job. Yeah, it's very nice. Excellent. Not much. Very nice. Yo, that looks really good, dude. Thanks, man. I tried my best. That's all that matters. <laughs> You're like a broken cassette every time. I, know, right? I got all the stupidest jokes. All right. Now what? Winch time. Winch yeah. time. So I'm going to put the skid plate on there with the fair lead, mm -hmm. the winch right behind it, mm -hmm. and then I'll kind of button up some of the wires because someone else is going to plug it all in. Mm. Not your job? Nope. Yes. Boss said so. All right. Oh man, wow, that's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Okay, good job. Thanks. All right guys, we are all wrapped up with the Subaru bumper build for this Crosstrek. As you can see, we have the worn uh, 5,000 pound winch installed and wired. We have the Extreme LED dual light bar installed. Um, this thing is all ready for action. We got the remote connection right here for the winch. We have recovery mount connections here up the front. Um, and I like how they have the, uh, how you guys make the bracketry that supports all the way to the front. That's pretty trick. Yeah, that's one of the things about this bumper. When you pull, it's actually, it doesn't get pulled from the front of the bumper. It stretches all the way to the back of the frame to the frame rail. So nice. it's, it's being pulled by the frame. Thought out. Yeah. Very thought out. And very clean. Yeah. Function and style. Yeah, you see we leave a nice, uh, Comfortable gap between the plastic and the tube work. Everything has trim lock, so it looks nice and neat. One thing that we do uh, recommend eventually uh, is doing a relocation on the windshield washer tank. This is a common thing with Subarus. It's, they kind of sit in this corner, but this is a easily removable uh, and can be relocated under the engine bay. Right, right. All right, so for any Subaru people that are interested in this bumper, for now, these are one-off builds for each individual application. So we can build these for a Crosstrek, Forester and Outback. So um, they are kind of built to order, meaning we take into account whatever modifications that they want to do, whether it's a light bar, whether you want to add additional fog lights or or even let's say a full size winch, we can accommodate all that. So um, hopefully in the future we'll, we'll make these, uh, we'll put these in production. All right, so this particular cross trick is a good example of some of the services that we offer. As you guys know, we specialize in Toyotas, but we do plenty unique stuff like the Subaru build. So, Custom fabrication, custom electrical work. This particular one also received the lift. So we have done a bunch of these cross tracks, a bunch of Outbacks and a bunch of uh, Foresters over the years. So if you got one of those vehicles, feel free to reach out. Okay, that about wraps this one up. On to the next. It's non-stop over here. Huh? It's non-stop over here. No, it's non-stop, we keep going. Yeah. This one's done, on to the next. <laughs>